One of the entrepreneurial qualities that I believe is way, way underrated is consistency. And I cover that in another video, but what I want to share with you today is another perspective on it. And that perspective is that we could be very consistent, and some people are very consistent in doing the wrong things. So when you think about consistency, you think about habits, right? Those things that we do automatically every single day or or at a regular you know, periods of time that we don't need to think into it. So for example, when I first started on a journey where I should, you know, change the, completely the way I eat, you know, everything that we, you know, put in our mouth, me and my wife, in our family, we change completely the way we eat. You know, starting from, you know, eating a lot of carbs and heavy foods to more natural, less processed and raw foods. You know, we still, we love meat. We are meat lovers. So I don't think we will give up that very soon. But we replaced, you know, big quantities of meat and carbs with small quantities of high quality meat and a lot of vegetables. And this was a huge shift. And, and we have now a, what is called to be a ketogenic diet, right? Where we, we try to avoid as much as possible carbs and sugars. And so when we started to change that, we started with, you know, forcing ourselves, you know, into, first of all, not buying the wrong type of food. And secondly, you know, thinking more about what, how can we make this new type of food tasty so it replaced what we used to eat. And every time we, you know, we felt tired at the end of the week or, or you felt kind of emotional a little bit. We went back and, and bought exactly the same type of food that we were eating before because that was that was a habit. We did we needed to consciously think into those decisions every single time. When we go in the store, we need to ask ourselves, is this is this you know in alignment with our goals? Does it help us to reach our goals? Yes or no? No, okay, so shall we buy it? And sometimes say, yeah, okay, let's buy it because we don't we don't eat it every single day. We eat it only on weekends, so it's still a progress. But we had to think into those decisions. Now it's automatically. Now we go into the store. You know, carbs are not on our list. And and if we if we buy carbs, it's actually the other way around. We say, okay, shall we have some carbs? You know, to kind of reward ourselves this weekend, and we can do that. But that is what I mean between a conscious thinking a conscious behavior and habit my habit before was buying carbs and you know sugary uh, uh, you know food now my habit is to buy healthy food why i'm mentioning this to you is because when we think about consistency and we think about habits some people and our myself included i was very very consistently very disciplined at doing the wrong thing I was very consistent in buying those foods that I, I knew actually didn't help me. So when you think about this idea of consistency and habit, um, I don't think many people you know, consider themselves that they are disciplined, that they have consistency, and that consistency is one of their values. I think we don't see that as being a, a value, but when you look at some people's life, and maybe when you look at your life, you would realize that you're very consistent in doing the same kind of things. Like, I'm sure you're very consistent in having the same kind of food. Like, 80% of our time, you know, we eat the same kind of food. And we vary here and there, you know, one or two days a week. But but 80%, you know, this is the 80-20. This applies across our, you know, our life. And we are consistent sometimes in doing the wrong things. So here, I want you to think a little bit about what are the things that you're consistently doing, you know, every single day that might not serve you. Because this is, this is where the power lies. Where are you consistent in doing the things that do not serve you? And ask yourself, you know, what do I need to stop doing this year, next year? What do I need to start doing in the next period. What do I need to continue doing because this is good? What do I need to do more of and what do I need to do less of? And when you answer those questions, when you categorize those things, 
you would see that you're actually consistently doing some things that you know you should not be doing. And that's when you realize that you have